In the crucible of World War II, where heroism and courage were tested against the backdrop of unimaginable hardship, there emerged tales of extraordinary bravery that pierced through the darkness of captivity. Among these tales, one stands out as a symbol of defiance and resilience. The daring escape attempt from the Nazi German prisoner of war camp, Stalag Luft III. Let's delve into the heart of heroism amidst the harshness of World War II and uncover the story of the brave souls who dared to defy captivity. The Great Escape from Stalag Luft III. The story of the Stalag Luft escape is one of the most daring prisoner of war escapes of World War II. Stalag Luft III was a Luftwaffe run prisoner of war camp designed specifically to hold captured Allied airmen, located near Zagan, Poland. The escape plan was conceived by British Royal Air Force Squadron leader Roger Bushell, who was himself a prisoner at the camp. The camp held some of the most determined and resourceful Allied prisoners and Bushel believed that a large-scale escape attempt could cause significant disruption to the German war effort. The plan involved digging three tunnels, codenamed Tom, Dick, and Harry, with the intention of breaking out over 200 prisoners in a single attempt. The tunnels were painstakingly dug using improvised tools and materials, including 4,000 bedboards, 3,400 towels, 1,700 blankets, around 300 meters of electric wire, 180 meters of rope, 30 shovels, and 478 spoons that were concealed by ingenious means to evade German detection. Construction of the tunnels was an arduous process, with prisoners working in shifts to dig under the very noses of their Nazi captors. The tunnels were dug to depths of up to 30 feet and extended beyond the camp's perimeter wire. Working under the constant threat of discovery, using makeshift tools and sheer ingenuity, the prisoners dug deep into the earth, driven by the hope of escape. Tom was discovered by the Germans before it could be completed. Dick was abandoned due to unstable sandy soil. Harry, however, was successfully completed and became the tunnel used for the escape. It had ventilation ducting and an electric light system that was hooked into the camp's power grid. It even had a light railway of makeshift trolleys with two stopping points nicknamed Leicester Square and Piccadilly Circus. This tunnel would become the lifeline to freedom for the prisoners trapped behind enemy lines. As the tunnel took shape, so did the plans for escape. Disguises were crafted, documents forged, and nerves of steel honed for the perilous journey ahead. The stage was set for one of the most daring escapes in wartime history. On the night of March 24, 1944, 76 Allied prisoners, mostly British and Commonwealth airmen, made their bid for freedom through the Harry Tunnel. The escape was meticulously planned, with prisoners disguised in civilian clothing and equipped with forged documents and maps to aid them in their journey. Under the cover of darkness, with hearts pounding and adrenaline coursing through their veins, the prisoners emerged from the depths of the Harry Tunnel stepping into the unknown with hope in their hearts and freedom within reach. But as with all great tales of defiance, the road to freedom was fraught with danger. Despite meticulous planning, the escape did not go entirely smoothly. The camp guards discovered the tunnel exit shortly after the escape began, and many prisoners were recaptured. However, of the 200 intended escapees, 76 men, including Roger Bushell, successfully made it out of the camp and into the forest under the cloak of darkness. As the escapees vanished into the dense forests of Poland, a frantic race against time began. The remaining prisoners, aware of the imminent danger, hastily attempted to destroy the forged documents that held their fate. Meanwhile, thousands of German troops were mobilized in a relentless pursuit, calming every inch of the countryside in search of the elusive fugitives. For some, the journey ended in freedom as they evaded capture and found sanctuary beyond enemy lines. 
but for many, the dream of liberation was shattered as they fell into the hands of their captors. Tragically, out of the 76 brave souls who dared to defy captivity, only three managed to cheat fate and secure their freedom. The price of defiance was steep. Fifty escapees, including Roger Bushel, met their end at the hands of the Gestapo, under the personal orders of Adolf Hitler himself. The escape attempt at Stalag Luf remains one of the most audacious and memorable events of World War II. It demonstrated the resilience, resourcefulness, and determination of Allied prisoners in the face of adversity, and it stands as a testament to the human spirit's indomitable will to be free. Thanks for watching. Put a like and subscribe us for more interesting videos like this.